I don't want to turn this into a debate on hydro fuel cells because I, I just think that they're extremely silly. Um, um, so the and the people have published. There's multiple sort of uh, rebuttals of it of it online. Um, I mean, the it, it's just very difficult to to make hydrogen and store it and use it in a car. Um, it, it, uh, hydrogen is an energy storage mechanism. It's not a source of energy. Another path would be to do that, but to have natural gas peakers that come in when the renewables aren't working and have some carbon sequestration. So when you use the natural gas, even then you don't have carbon emission. A new update in hydrogen is being studied recently. With its extremely low cost and great efficiency, it's like a knockout punch that made Elon Musk change his mind. So what breakthrough is over the horizon? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started on today's content. Musk has once called the idea of hydrogen fuel cells mind-bogglingly stupid while dismissing them as fool cells and a load of rubbish. Then he reacted with a laughing hysterically emoji to a tweet that mocked Bill Gates' claim that climate change could be solved by relying on hydrogen energy. As you know, converting hydrogen into electricity is also an expensive process that requires separating it from oxygen, an energy-intensive endeavor that necessitates the burning of fossil fuels. But everything will change in the future. Cheap, clean hydrogen would be a great breakthrough, and we would have many uses for it. And we can make essentially synthetic gas from solar or wind energy at very competitive prices. This is a breakthrough. The global hydrogen fuel cell market was valued at 14.72 billion US dollars in 2021 and is projected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 21.2% from 2021 to reach $80.48 billion by the year of 2030, increasing by $65.76 billion in nine years, a very strong growth rate. The U.S. has projects to produce green hydrogen in large quantities with the aim of bringing the cost of hydrogen to a level that's competitive with lithium batteries and gasoline. The average price for hydrogen fuel in California is about $16 per kilogram. Annual fuel costs for the Toyota Mirai, Honda Clarity Fuel Cell, and Hyundai Nexo are $4,495, which is three to four times the cost of gas-powered alternatives and electricity. However, Breakthrough Energy Ventures invests in companies working on clean hydrogen, and the Breakthrough Energy Catalyst program speeds up the time to market for clean hydrogen among other climate technologies. Therefore, the price of hydrogen is expected to decrease significantly in the coming years. Once scaled up, the cost of green H2 will fall just to just over a dollar per kilogram in 2025 and around 80 cents per kilogram by 2030, a 20 times lower price than the previous markup. The cheapest location for renewable H2 would be Qatar at $2.62 per kilogram, followed by Saudi Arabia at $3.23, Oman, $3.58, and the United Arab Emirates at $4.51 per kilogram when using alkaline electrolyzers, with prices for PEM electrolyzers roughly a dollar per kilogram higher. We put the cost of producing green hydrogen from renewable energy and electrolysis in a range between $3.73 per kilogram in the U.S. Northwest and $6.50 per kilogram in the Southeast. At today's prices, the tax credit effectively takes $3 per kilogram off the production cost, which would make green hydrogen produced in the U.S. Northwest, Mid-Continent, Southern California, and Rockies the cheapest in the world. So the potential of clean hydrogen is tantalizing, and its necessity is becoming clearer every day. A 2017 survey of 1,000 global auto executives concluded hydrogen fuel cell technology will ultimately outperform battery-powered electric vehicles. California has a target of 200 hydrogen fueling stations and over 47,000 hydrogen vehicles by 2025, and is hoping that hydrogen will help balance its electric grid. All of the current Tesla models are rated to travel a minimum of 300 miles on a single charge. According to the EPA, 
hydrogen fuel cell cars now average between 312 miles to 380 miles in range. A Toyota Mirai has set an official Guinness World Record for the longest distance of 845 miles covered by a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle without refueling. Scientists say that this new hydrogen improvement will give the hydrogen car a 500% increase in energy, which means that when you fill the tank, you'll have a range of 2,280 miles. Battery electric vehicles work great for passenger transportation and trucking over shorter distances, but aviation, shipping, and long-distance trucking remain a challenge. Clean hydrogen has the potential to provide a net-zero solution for moving cargo around the world. So what is that outstanding progress in hydrogen technology that brought you to our video today? Uh, and both for fuel cells and for electrolyzers. So, you know, that's a major step for our company and it presents us some major business opportunities. Innovators are working on several different technologies. While there are existing methods to store and transport hydrogen, they can be prohibitively expensive, especially compared to moving around its carbonaceous cousin, natural gas. The first is to use existing natural gas pipelines to move hydrogen from where it's produced to where it is consumed. These pipes can carry about 30% hydrogen when mixed with natural gas. The idea is that diluted hydrogen will be less corrosive to existing steel infrastructure. Freshly produced hydrogen is injected into a pipeline containing natural gas close to where hydrogen is made and then recovered using a filter where it needs to be consumed. It's like being able to separate a great Bordeaux wine after it's been mixed with a common wine. No sieve in the world can filter out hydrogen, which makes use of some clever chemistry that exploits hydrogen's liking for certain metals, such as palladium. It means you can filter hydrogen at 99.9% .9 purity from a pipe carrying between 5 to 30% hydrogen, with the rest being natural gas. A second mode of operation causes it to become a cracker for ammonia or methanol, but all that needs to be done is to increase the number of palladium membranes and tweak the temperature and pressure at which the reactor runs. The startup has reactors that can be used to filter out 40 kilograms of hydrogen per day, whereas its commercial units will be able to handle 200 kilograms and 500 kilograms respectively. Ammonia made with renewable hydrogen will be converted to hydrogen. Otherwise, that's it for my time. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much. From all of us here, we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and love one another.